Miss Isabella Tomlinson, the first runner-up of uh, the recently concluded Miss Ilocos Norte 2024. Ma'am, welcome to Daily Tribune. Hi, thank you for having me. So I made it a habit, well, my family did, to visit as often as possible. Uh, but whilst in the UK, whilst receiving my education, we still very much had a Filipino upbringing. My mum made sure that cultural studies was a strong part of our home. So I do feel very much Filipino. So sometimes it does hurt when people question my heritage because I love the people here and I do feel like I am one of the people here in my community. So uh, after Miss Ilocos started 2024 and now you're first runner up, you're, you're the first runner up, would we see Miss Isabella Thumlinson is staying in the Philippines for much longer time rather than before? Absolutely. Now that I have completed my degree, I am happy to say I graduated uh, from one of the UK's top 10 universities. I'm very much eager to stay here. I've got my residency confirmed and I'm hoping to pursue either modeling or pageantry in either Manila or here in Locos, wherever opportunities afford me to be here. I want to stay here so badly as much as I do love the UK. Okay, so everybody's trying to, you you are already earning the moniker like Megan Young of Pagod Pud. Um, I, I I think they're they're calling you that way now. Do you see yourself competing in national pageants, even international pageants, in the near future? Absolutely. Although I am new to pageantry, mm -hmm. there's elements of it that is completely familiar to me. So my advocacy predates any stage I've ever been on. I've always been passionate about charity fundraising, causes for my community. And so when I was introduced to this new realm of pageantry, I thought, wow, what, what a world in which we can unite femininity and beauty with advocacy. Um, so despite needing a lot of training, I am confident that hopefully I will represent my great municipality on a national stage one day. Well, of course. Um, Miss Ilocos Northern opens up a lot of opportunities for everyone who wins those titles. Um, aside from charity fundraising, uh, there are major issues that sometimes you know, others are locality, especially in Pagod Pud. So what do you plan to focus on or what advocacy do you plan to focus on as you hold the title of first runner-up of Miss Ilocos Norte? That is a great question. I think it is important to have a focus. Given my background as a fitness trainer and my own struggles with mental health, I would like to have that as my primary focus, particularly in schools when it comes to exam seasons. Uh, as I've spoken for previously, I am passionate about helping mental health through physical movement. So I think my role in this would be to continue to visit schools, have uh, fitness lessons with them, and I'm very happy to work with kids. I love kids, I'm very passionate about pastoral care. So that is one thing I'm very excited to continue now that I have a little bit more time on my hands, is to see the kids back in St. Jude's as well. Very excited for that. Awesome. Now, given your background, if you're going to, what do you love about the Ilocano heritage and why? Oh, <laughs> I don't think I have enough time to ever answer this. I could go on about how this community never ceases to impress and amaze me, not just through their generosity and how welcome they, they are, but also the way they do things. I think the Filipinos are amazing when it comes to the entertainment industry. When I was doing this IN and I was doing the rehearsals, I was shocked to see how amazing the dancers were. It's in everything we do. We do it with such a passion. We do it with such a joy. Um, so it's definitely the people first for me before food and probably next. And then lastly, I would definitely have to say the natural landscapes we have in Alopa Sante, so beautiful. But yeah, I think the list goes community, food, landscapes. <laughs> As a resident, I am lucky now to have established some networks with other people from different districts of the local Suerte, um, especially the under, other candidates. We've now got a group chat, which is so sweet. Um, and I'm looking forward to visiting them and liaising with them on how best we can use and leverage our platforms to promote tourism. With my background in marketing, I would be keen to go more into the advertising and marketing side of boosting tourism, but I understand that there are complexities there when we come to promoting tourism in general. 
there's a lot that goes into it. And I'm so grateful for the community. Hopefully I can expand on just the marketing side if I can go into fundraising. And who knows, I could see myself going into politics as well. Uh, but right now it's very much pageantry. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that's a big question and I'm excited to explore the different options on how we can come to a solution for that. British half Filipino. Was it hard for you to transition in joining Miss Ilocos Norte 2024 or were you able to join pageants in, in uh, I'm sorry, you're from London, right? Um, uh, or what? Um, I have friends in London, but I'm actually based in the Lake District. Um, and I did spend a couple of years in Lancaster and Manchester. So more of the Northern region, but I do love London. It's gorgeous there. Okay. So, so have you joined local pageants there? Have you joined pageants in London, in or 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 Lancaster or Manchester? Have you have you joined any form of pageants there? Was it hard for you to transition um, from there to Miss Ilocos Norte? That is a good question. There were some difficulties in transitioning, mainly because I haven't actually done any pageants back in the UK. It's not as community driven as it is here, which I love about pageantry here in the Philippines. Um, and my focus when I was in the UK was very much academics, finishing my degree, getting my qualifications, establishing myself early within my career. Um, so it wasn't something I necessarily had time for. So I'm so grateful that I got to discover it here because I quickly fell in love despite there being teething issues with my walk. I couldn't walk in heels a month ago. Because um, I'm already 5'9", so I never really wore heels because I'm already tall. <laughs> so when I first tried them on, my cousins were like, are you, are you sure you want to patch it? Um, maybe, it's, maybe we can defer till next year. But I took it on quickly. And with the help of everyone around me, it wasn't too difficult of a transition. Embrace your Filipino heritage. Know that you can love your other half, whether it be European or otherwise, and still pursue Filipino pageantry and embrace both sides of yourself. Um, I, what I would say is, although you may have some bashers here, on the whole, the community is very welcoming, very accepting, and there's so much the Philippines has to offer. Do not be hesitant. Just jump, dive right into it. <laughs> Learn as you go along. I'm getting emotional. Just a huge thank you. I am so grateful. I would have never pursued this opportunity had it not been for your support. Um, and I just want to say that, <laughs> sorry, I just want to say I will do everything in my power to continue to make you guys proud and to give back to this wonderful community. I feel so overwhelmed with your love and support. And I just pray that <laughs> I can make you proud. Awesome. So, Isabella, thank you so much. And, um, of course, thank you for making Pagudpud proud. Uh, I'm very <laughs> sure that everyone from Pagudpud is very proud of you. Thank you so much for being with Daily Tribune today. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>